Hello and welcome to this short tutorial video on turning narrow items right sides out. We're going to use the ties from the pinafore because it's a fiddly narrow item and awkward to turn out. This one's already done so this one we're going to do it's sewn along a long and a short edge so you need a blunt needle the fatter the better. I've got a reasonably short doubled up piece of thread with a fat knot on the end and I'm going to put a stitch into the sewn end of this tie but just through one side of the fabric. We don't want to catch both sides just going through one side and then we're going to ease the two sides of the fabric apart and we're going to push the needle in and start easing it along the length and this is why you want a blunt needle. It possibly just occasionally poke through but pull it back in if it does. Don't catch the fabric and just keep easing it along the length of the tie until you get to the end and then take the needle and pull it pull it through there we go and we now need to go to the other end and tuck in the little section that we've put a stitch into we want to tuck that first end in because we're going to pull it all the way through the middle You might use a chopstick or the end of a pencil there, and then we start pulling that through. This is where you want to make sure you've got a decent thread. If your thread's not very good quality it'll snap so be a bit gentle. Keep easing that through so that you're pulling, pulling it down over the top of the end like that. Make it a bit steady at this point and you'll feel the other end pulling through. Take it steady until you can see the other end. Keep easing it back down. And when you've got the end through and you're not at risk of breaking your thread you can just pull that right the way through like that and there you go now all you need to do is lose the thread you can snip it off and it'll possibly disappear back inside or you can just pull it out there you go probably if you pull your two bits apart it'll just disappear inside and then that needs an iron and thank you to Karis for that little useful tip. That concludes our tutorial video. I hope it's been helpful. If it has, please subscribe. We'd love your feedback and a like. There are more videos coming soon.